Hi AQA, what should my students expect from the GCSE Science Extended Questions? The four to six mark extended response questions will assess ability to apply scientific knowledge in a logical, structured way. This requires students to clearly communicate scientific ideas through longer written answers or multi-step calculations. Students may be required to link topics across different areas of the specification. Questions requiring extended writing are marked using a levels of response mark scheme, so there's no one-size-fits-all approach to answering. With a levels of response mark scheme, the level is determined with reference to what are known as generic descriptors. Then the mark within that level is determined with reference to the indicative content. To ensure marking is clear and consistent, level descriptors are generic and linked to specific command words, which are consistent across all our GCSE science specifications. Here are six tips for answering extended questions. Answers must communicate scientific ideas clearly and show a sustained line of reasoning. Familiarise students with the GCSE Science Extended Question command words. Bullet points can be used, for example when displaying several strands of information linked to a single item, or as a means of logically breaking up information, but these must be used as part of a full and structured answer. Papers are designed to allow sufficient space so extra paper shouldn't be needed. We allocate about two lines per mark. A careful reading and understanding of the question is key. Students shouldn't simply write everything they know. Tables and diagrams can be used if they're referred to in the question and make sense in context. We've identified teacher resources to help you further and collected the links. Go to aqa.org.uk forward slash u dash ast dash science. Once again, that's aqa.org.uk forward slash u dash ast dash science. We hope this has been useful. We'll be back next time with more of your questions.